Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and I just want to show just quickly some pigments that I am almost to the point of finish using them up but I just want to show you swatches of them and let you know where you can get them if you're interested but um, I am on the verge of finishing them up and I was really excited they weren't part of my project pan but um, I just realized I should have added them because I'm to the point of finishing and I've actually had these for quite some time and used them up I've used them maybe for a whole year so that they definitely served me well um, and so these are actually um, colors that I liked and that I used and so the first one, let me go to lighter colors. Some of these are really bold and and they would um, definitely, uh, that's my phone, definitely maybe stain my fingers a bit. And so I'm swatching on the back of my hand, as you can see. And this first one is um, was Destiny and it's very shimmery and it's used as a highlighter. Um, very glittery so that you find that when you need to use this you have to use this with a base so you can see how shimmery and glittery it is so that's the first one that's how it swatches you definitely need a base and I don't have a base on my hand um, so that is destiny very shimmery iridescent kind of white snowflakey kind of looking color and then this one is actually one of my favorite highlighters and this is um Disney it has a purple it's a like a white with a purple undertone and so I'll swatch it so that's what it looks like I don't know if you're able to see the iridescent kind of color with it that's it that's Disney as you can see I'm almost finished with these um then we go to this one was it's goldy and and these this one I actually I don't really like gold colors but um I end up liking this and that's two swatches actually so that's the gold color if you can see it it's pretty nice and pigmented um, I use this when I use um, bridal which is another pigment one of my favorite ones that I don't have here but um, it's available at these and these are Holland Rustics pigments so the next one is culture and culture has become one of my favorite colors it wasn't initially but um, I just started using it and I loved it. Really, it looks like a kind of crazy color in the packet, and you'd be like, "What kind of metallic, you know, yellow mustard color is that?" And this is what it looks like, swatched. But it's really a beautiful color. I actually use this to the lid and the crease. I used this one day in the crease, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, why didn't I use this before?" Because I used to use it on the lid, and I use these like with, um, with greens. This look amazing with greens, purples. I've never tried it with a red color though, but that's what that's culture, and that's what it looks like. Swatch, and then the last three are like purple and blues. Um, this one is Hot Mama. It's like a purple iridescent color. It's pretty much close to my nail color. And actually, this is the nail color that I have on. It's from OPI. But after I put it on, I thought, oh my goodness, if I want to get back to this color, because I did it um, when I did my nail, had my nails done, I chose the color. I said it, when I, I could try getting back this color, make, once I um, mix it with the same pigment and natural nail polish. So, yeah. So that's what it looks like. I'm not sure if you're able to see it well with the light. And see, so that's Hot Mama. It's like a purple, light, lilac, iridescent color. 
Um, then the next one. Uh, okay, let's do it. This one is um, Atlantic. No, Atlanta. Sorry, and I absolutely love this. I think this is my second baggie that I'm finishing for this color because it's a purple color and I love it. It's almost finished, actually. So, yeah. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors. Atlanta. That's what it looks like. A very nice purple color. And the last one is Rock Singer. And it's a dual chrome. It's like a blue, red, like color. And this is what it looks like. It looks blue here, but it can also look red. It has like a red undertone to it, which you're not seeing. But. Um, oh, pinkish, yeah, red, pinkish, undertone. Yeah, so these are a couple of my favorite pigments because I've used them quite a bit. As you can see, I have just a couple usage here from this one, a couple, maybe like a two. And these last me um, for more than a year, I would say, um, except Atlanta because I use Atlanta quite a bit. This is my second baggie of Atlanta. It's really one of my favorite purples. So I just thought I'll share with you my favorite, some of my favorite pigments that I keep with me, I use that I use often. Oh, and there's one other pigment, and this is Golden Olive from MAC. This is just a sample. Um, it's one of my favorite green pigments from MAC, and I'll just swatch that Ooh, quickly for you to see. That's what, I think a lot of you know what Golden Olive looks like, but if you don't, this is what it looks like so it's a nice green I like it so and I keep this I've been using this for almost a year yeah I have a couple uses still from it too so yeah those are some of my favorite pigments pigments that I'm finishing so I thought I'll just share them with you and these are applied dry on no primer or base or anything like that so thanks for watching if you want to see swatches of some more of the pigments that i have please leave a comment below and i'll link it for you um and i'll also let me link it i will do the video for you and i'll link you to where you can get these pigments and so thanks again for watching everyone and please remember to rate comment and subscribe bye